Hi everyone, I'm Dawn from Creative Appliques. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. And if you're new, please subscribe down below and click the bell to be notified when I upload new content. In today's video, it's going to be a little bit different. I was on the hunt for a brand new single needle machine. I would like to be able to do Facebook Lives and also teach you how to do my designs on a single needle. The machine I had was very old, so I needed a new one and I found the perfect one. I'm going to take you on the journey with me today as I go and get my new baby. So stay tuned and follow me on my journey. Okay, here I go. I am on my way to pick up my brand new brother, Luminaire, single needle sewing and embroidery combined machine. I am so ecstatic about this. The first embroidery machine I purchased was back in 2007. I bought it used from eBay and it is a Viking designer one that was made in 1999 so I bought it off of eBay in 2007 so it was eight years old when I bought it this machine still reads floppy disks so it's gotten to the point where it's having issues with um, turning off and on uh, it was the power cord and I thought that was it was okay it was still gonna be fine but now when I put in a floppy disk at times it is um, sometimes it will stop reading the disk and it'll shut off in the middle of an embroidery design and start back up so I've come to the point of deciding that I need to a new machine and I have some multi-needle machines. I have a Happy Voyager 12 needle and I have a um, Rakoma MT1501 15 needle. And so I have decided that um, I need a new single needle. I need it for um, sewing and I also want it for in the hoop projects and regular embroidery so that I can use it um, to do Facebook Lives and to teach you all how to do designs. So when I get to the store, I'll check back in and then when I get the machine, um, I'll record that too. Okay guys, so here I am. I'm at Tidewater Sewing Back in Suffolk, Virginia. And I'm gonna go in and get the machine. So this is my uh, sales rep, Jackie. She was amazing. She was so helpful and got me everything I needed and asked for. And here she is looking over the threads that I got. I got 300 um, spools of the Floriani thread. You can see in the bottom box, there's the machine, the Luminaire 2 by Brother. And then in the top box is the travel luggage for both the machine and the um, arm. And here's just a quick look around the space. This is the classroom. You can see all the quilts and here's some fabric and some more things that they have as well. All right. I got it all in the car. I got three boxes of the Floriani 100 threads. So a total of 300 threads. That is the box of the travel uh, luggage for the Luminaire and the embroidery arm. And then the machine is back there. So Let's get it home and get it unboxed and set up. All right, guys, I got it in the house. Um, that's the machine in the box. And this is the travel luggage. And the gray thing on top of it is the cover for the machine. So let's get into the machine and get it unboxed. So 
So it's telling me there's more things stored in the styrofoam. So this looks like it's the, the scanning board where you can put a piece of artwork on there and scan it into the machine and the machine will turn it into stitches. Uh, a probably the knee lift for the sewing machine, I would think. Or the, you know, this is all of the extra feet that are included with it. Paperwork. So you can see. There's a whole bunch of feet that come with it. Um, extra spots for other feet. There's a whole bunch of goodies down under there as well. So we will get into all that. This is, this might be the foot. I have no idea what this is. to learn. Oh, no, that's the um, thread stand that goes on top of the machine when the top is open. Oh, there's a walking foot. There is, this might be the stylus that comes with it, or it's like a pen, not necessarily like a stylus, but like a pen. Yes, this is the pen, and then this is the part on the, that clips into the side of the machine that the pen slides into. This is another foot that um, here's the power cord. This is another um, foot plate. That's wow. Okay. All right. I think that might be all I can see in this box. Nothing under there. is the 10 by 16 10.5 inches 8 inches by 16 that's a nice big size hoop this machine comes with four hoops I think this one is the 5 by 7 I'm pretty sure doesn't say on there Unless I'm not seeing it, but I think this is this looks like the five by seven. And then your four by four. So those are the three that are there on top here.
powdery arm and they give you some stabilizer so you can get started right away. Cool. And some thread. Awesome. Polyester thread. 60 weight polyester thread and some machine embroidery backing is what it says. Can never have too much of that, right? And then embroidery arm or embroidery unit. note that said there was more things in the side of the styrofoam so right in here I think this is the other hoop because I only unpacked three so I think this is the Ten and five eighths by sixteen. This is ten and five eighths by ten and five eighths, and then you get a five by seven and a four by four. Okay. Let's take all the rest of this stuff off. unboxing of all of the bits and parts and pieces for right now and then I'm gonna get a design and load it to the machine and we'll, we'll stitch something up first time uh, together okay guys I have the machine all turned on and set up and I hope I have it done correctly um, I hoop some fabric with some cutaway stabilizer. These are just uh, two de designs that were in the machine. So I'm going to turn it on and let's watch it stitch. Okay, so looking at the directions, it says to make sure that the presser foot is up. So it's up. I am going to put on the hoop. So it, I left, left the lever there and slide it on until it clicks, I assume. Maybe not, just all the way in as far as it can go. And then lower the lever. And I'm gonna move this extra fabric out of the way. Like that. And now, it says to press the presser foot and then to press the stitching. <laughs> Alright, that was loading the thread and now we press the start button. Click 
put that little bit of thread there. So I had to stop because I had a phone call from my dealer to ask me how everything is going. So that's amazing customer service. Thank you so much, Jackie from Tidewater Sell and Vac here in uh, southeastern Virginia. So let's get let's watch uh, some more. <laughs> progress bar of how it's stitching, how many st stitches are going. Whoops, I touched the touch screen, so I guess it stopped. All right, and um, so yeah, it tells you how many minutes there are, how, uh, how many color changes. I didn't change any red, I just did it all in black, but it's showing you there on the um, screen where it is in the progression of the design. something that I had quickly um, so um, okay now we're going to go on to the letter letter from inside the software that I decided to um, to use and I enlarged it. that are much larger, it will definitely slow down to make up that space, to take up that space of um, back and forth. And as the stitches are closer together, they stitch faster. smiley face that says finished embroidering. So that was the first project that we completed on the new Brother Luminaire 2.